Hello and welcome to Better Geology. I'm Andrew Dunning, and this is Lava Tubes. I'm here in Lava Beds National Monument, a few feet underground in Labyrinth Cave, and I'm sitting on evidence of multiple lava flows. Lava tubes form in lava flows, and as the lava flow cools on the surface, warm liquid lavas continues to flow under the surface through these subway tunnel-like tubes. And as the lava drained out of the tube, it left an open space that lava could flow through later on. Now, after the volcano erupts, they can flow through the same tubes multiple times, revealing multiple layers of lava along the walls. Other features in this cave include lava sickles and lava popcorn, which also result from the lava still being slightly molten as the lava drained out. Lava sickles form on the ceiling after the lava drips down once it's still slightly molten. And this lava popcorn forms as dissolved gases burst out of the still cooling magma. As lava cools, its viscosity increases and becomes more resistant to flow. And so as it flows and cools, the texture can go from smooth and ropey, then to lumpy, called cauliflower, or even further, to clinker. Lava tubes are almost only accessible from breakdown caves. So at the surface, a large area will break down and open up access to the cave. This has been Better Geology. Thank you for watching.